let's try to solve this problem. So we have quantity A plus B times quantity C plus D. So we are multiplying here two binomials. Binomial means algebraic expressions having two terms. So to multiply these two binomials, we can apply the FOIL method. So to apply the FOIL method, let's start first with the F. So F stands for the product of first to first. So that's A times C. And then next is O. O stands for the product of outer to outer. So that's A times D. Next is I. I stands for the product of the inner to inner terms. So that's B times C. And finally, L stands for the product of the last to last. That's B times D. So therefore, we will have for the F, A times C, that's simply AC, plus O, the product of A times D, that's simply AD, plus for the I, the product of B times C, that's BC, then plus for L, the product of B times D, that's BD. So therefore, this is the final answer. Next, for number 2, we have x plus 2 times x minus 3. Again, let's start by multiplying first to first. So, x times x. So, that will be x squared, right? When we are multiplying same base, x, this time they have both in, uh, indicible exponent of 1. So, just copy the base x and then add the exponent 1 plus 1. That's why x squared. Next, for outer to outer, x times negative 3. That's simply negative 3x. Plus, next is inner to inner, 2 times x, that's simply 2x. Plus, for last to last, product of 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6. Then we can combine similar terms further. So for the x squared, we just need to copy that. What we can combine here is the x term. We can have negative 3x plus 2x, that will be negative 1x or simply negative x plus negative 6 or simply minus 6. So therefore, the final answer is x squared minus x minus 6. Next, 2x squared plus y times 3x squared minus 2y. Again, let's multiply 2x squared times 3x squared plus the product of 2x squared times negative 2y Plus the product of y and 3x squared, so that's 3x squared y. Lastly, plus the product of y times negative 2y, so that's negative 2y times y. And then we simplify. So for 2x squared times 3x squared, so let's multiply first the coefficients. 2 times 3, that's 6. Then for x squared times x squared, so since we are uh, multiplying same base x, so copy the base x and then add the exponents. 2 plus 2, that's 4. Loss of exponent, right? Plus 2x squared times negative 2y. So let's multiply the coefficients. 2 times negative 2, that's negative 4. So I should write it as negative 4. Then the product of the variables x squared times y. So I just put them together, x squared y. Plus 3x squared, just copy. Then plus negative 2y times y. So we just need to copy the coefficient negative 2 and then multiply the variable. So same base y, they have invisible exponent of 1. We copy the base y and add the exponent 1 plus 1, that's 2. And then we can still combine similar terms, particularly negative 4x squared y and 3x squared y. So I just copy 6x to the fourth, negative 4x squared y plus 3x squared y. So negative 4 plus 3, that's negative 1 or simply negative x squared y, then minus 2y squared. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, now it's your turn to so try to solve this problem and just comment your answer.